This is Bengals Nation with Coach Marvin Lewis, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. Welcome to Bengals Nation here from the Holy Grail. Bob Herzog alongside Jen Dalton. So glad you could be with us this week. And it's a little bit different, you know, kind of week because there's no game tomorrow, but some things will remain the same. That means we're going to be having the same fun that we have here every week. We've got our fan games. They are back for you this week. We've got our Bud Light football toss. We have our banquet tic-tac-toe toss. And then we have the Cincinnati Sports League's football Flick it. flicker. Flick it. Up on the Eichler Golf Car Stage tonight, a great band, one of our favorites, the Marty Connor Band is here. Brad and Coach are going to be discussing the Kia key player of the first half of the season. And at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table, the one, the only, Mr. Four Touchdowns. Marvin Jones is here. Marvin in the house. Gotta love that. You know, there's another Marvin, you know, who, who's going to be on the program again. That would be, you know, Coach Marvin Lewis. He's with Brad right now. We're going to send it over to them. Brad, I got to tell you, I don't really know what to do. No Bengals game on Sunday. I'm like a man lost in the wilderness. <laughs> Bob, I'm sorry. Uh, you'll make it through. You'll, you'll figure something out. We will all survive this Sunday. Hey, coming up. On Bengals Nation, Coach and I are going to talk about a few things that we don't get a chance to talk about very much. Maybe some of the strengths and weaknesses of this team as they try and make it through the grind of 12 straight weeks to start the season before they get to a bye week. We will also talk about a couple of upcoming division foes, the big games with the Ravens and the Browns. We'll get to all of that, but first... Let's send it back to the Holy Grail. Mike's got a special guest. All right, thanks a lot, Brad. Tonight we're joined at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table by Marvin Jones. Marvin becoming a big-time weapon in the Bengals' passing game. We'll talk with him about his role on this football team and about the team going forward over the final seven games of the season. All that and more with Marvin Jones coming up later in the show. Meantime, let's send it back to you and the coach. Thank you, Mike. Marvin, we talk about this every year. You don't get to make the schedule, so there's no reason to whine about the schedule. It doesn't really matter. You've got to figure out a way to get through it. So you've gotten to this point, done a lot of good things to this point, and now you come up to this point after what you've done, character building, grinding through a lot of road trip situations, and now you get some AFC North Conference foes that you know very well. Is it built in pretty well for you at this point to now face the Ravens and the Browns with what you've been through? Well, I think it is. I mean, I think the schedule's like the road map. I mean, you got to, you know, navigate your way through it, and uh, uh, it has the... the uh, What's the word? You, the curves, the mountains, the hills, and the valleys, and you got to go through yep. them and so forth and navigate across the streams and so forth. But then, uh, you know, the fact that we get to end the season playing more games at home uh, than on the road is, is very good. You know, we, we have the bye, then we go to San Diego, and then after that, our only trip is to Pittsburgh. So uh, that's. If you navigate it well in the early going, the end pays off. Hopefully, it will for this Bengals team. We'll get to much more. But first, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Jack. For the Kia key player of the first half of the season, brought to you by the Greater Cincinnati Kia Dealers. He was our player of the week last week, and he's the man of the first half. And I'm guessing it probably has a lot to do with his last name, right, Brett? Yeah, Jen, when you're a Dalton, I, I guess you're good all the time. And he's been pretty good, certainly getting better. He is our player of the first half, became the first Bengals quarterback ever to throw 11 TDs over a three week span. He's thrown for more than 2,200 yards so far on the year, completing 65% of his passes, 16 TDs, 7 interceptions, and a personal best 5 touchdowns against the Jets. Andy Dalton has been outstanding. He is our player of the first half. Coach Andy Dalton, um, he's navigated himself pretty well through a lot of this. Taken to the challenge issued by you, maybe to a lot of people around him, and well... Is he playing a lot better? Because as we talk about all the time, the people around him are playing better, or maybe he's making the people around him better. Yeah, Brad, I mean, I really believe it's because you're having an opportunity to do your job carefree, that people around you are playing better, which mm -hmm. makes your job much easier. And he can count on people being in the right spots. We have to continue to protect him well. And, and that's key through this whole, this whole period of time. Your first five, you said, was going to create character. You're wrapping up the section that you then called the grind. Has your team built a character now that you like? Well, we know we're, we're, we're mentally strong, mentally tough, 
and uh, we're, we're making plays, and we got to continue to develop that and making plays, and playmakers continue to come to the forefront and make game-changing plays and be just as consistent on defense. Okay, when you see us next, we're going to take a little trip into the Wayback Machine because you never got to see a lot of the plays the coach will break down for the Jets, and it was fun to watch the plays against the Jets. So we'll do that in the coach's room when you see us next. For now, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Jen. Thanks, Brad. So you invited friends over to watch the big game, and now you're busy preparing food for the big tailgate feast? Well, make it easy on yourself with Banquet Hot Pies. They're a wholesome and satisfying meal any time of the day and sure to be a crowd pleaser. Banquet, so good for so little. All right, time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Marvin Jones. Thanks a lot, Jen. Back here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table with the wide receiver Marvin Jones, of course, had the four-touchdown game against the Jets. You are really evolving, coming into your own in this offense. What's the biggest difference for you? Is it just the maturation of a wide receiver in this league? Uh, I mean, I, I just think the, uh, you know, I mean, as you said, like the matur maturation, and you gain that uh, by, you know, getting the experience and being on the field, you know, just being on the field and being in cahoots with, you know, the, uh, the wide receiver room and the, uh, the quarterbacks, and uh, I think that's, uh, that's, that's been it, and just capitalizing on all the opportunities. All right, wide receiver Marvin Jones here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table. More with Marvin later in the show. It's time now for our first fan game of the night. You know it, you love it. It is the Banquet Pot Pie Tic-Tac-Toe Toss. I've got John from Evanston. I've got Richard from Fairfield. Gentlemen, here's how it works. We're going to start with John. He's going to pitch one to the board. Then you're going to pitch one to the board. You're going for Banquet logos. He's going for Bengals logos. First one to get three in a row. John, get us started. All right, that's one for you, though, Richard, right there. Oh, a little deep, a little deep. A little deep again. You don't know your own strength, I think, is the problem there, Richard. Oh, he already, he already went. Yep. Keep on going. Oh, that could be. Oh, that's it. Right there. John, congrats. Ex experience paid off for you that time, didn't it? Congratulations. Nice job. Oh, there we go. I'm sticking in. As the Marty Connor Band sends us to break, make sure and stay with us here on Bengals Nation. So much more. Marvin Jones going to take fan questions. Brad and that other Marvin, they're going to be at the Telestrator. And the Bud Light football toss is on the way. In fact, it's all coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, sponsored by the Holy Grail. She just stole my truck. Come on down to the Holy Grail, Cincinnati's home for all Bengals games with 30 HD TVs, surround sound, great food, and bucket specials. This is the place to be for all Bengals games, both home and away. Your search is over. You found the Holy Grail. Time now to send it over to Brad and Coach. They're up to tell the Trader. Jen back in the coach's room. We can't skip the Jets. I mean, it's as good as it gets. So we're going to have Coach run through some of the Jets' plays. Take us through some of the success. Well, obviously, the guy who had a big day for us that day was Marvin Jones. So I've got uh, first play. You see it's second and seven here. And uh, good opportunity here. And, and Marvin over here. And why I put this one on here is you see AJ's on the top. And you see the safety working that way uh, to AJ, okay. which leaves Marvin down here uh, kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Now, they're trying to run underneath Marvin here uh, with that. And they're actually not even covering <laughs> our back here. So he's running completely clean. Uh, you know, uh, Ben Jarvis there, but uh, we do Andy with the, with the action holds the back or just a touch right. to get Marvin in behind him. He makes a great throw there, and then Marvin a great run after the catch. Okay, so again, uh, big play there, and you see the coverage scooting over to AJ. And then the same thing here is another look. Uh, we got AJ down here, uh, Marvin up on the top, and again, now you got true uh, coverage. They're running a pressure. They're running a fire zone pressure and working across there. We got good protection. We picked this up. And you see the catch out there to Marvin. And uh, catch out there. And he makes the, the cornerback miss. And now he's running. Good hustle by Giovanni here. And then you'll see Gresham here comes, coming too to help also. So great job by our guys. So again, you see the protection work on the fire zone. They're underneath here and here. You see the protection work uh, as we work through it there. And then the run and catch, and again, the great hustle there, and the great hustle here, and by Jermaine coming in there. I don't remember a whole lot of games where receivers targeted eight times and catches eight times, but this was one of those perfect games for Marvin Then Jones. defensively, here's a third down play. It's third and eight, okay? 
And again, we we're, we're, want to look as though we're showing the pressure. We've got the safety here mm -hmm. in the corner here and the safety over the top. And then the rotation based on the motion. And then you can see us as we come off the edge here. And Reggie comes completely clean. And he has an opportunity for a sack. So we show per, uh, big guys over here, slide to protection, come clean. So again, you see the look here. So the protection slides over. And then the back steps up here. And then we got the guy coming clean. Perfect. And Reggie does a good job of corralling the quarterback because that's important too as a free blitzer. Sure. And here's another look. Here's a first and ten play. And again, this is the play in the second half. A good job by Chris Crocker of, of you know, really uh, doing a nice job of just playing the coverage. There's an outside leverage coverage for him. Plays the coverage. Cornerback expects the receiver to keep coming. For whatever reason, the, the uh, receiver stops short. He makes the throw and a good play by Chris. But again, this play is helped by the rush here. Right. Uh, you watch Geno here and Michael Johnson see. They create this play because he can't hold on to the ball. So this ball is created there. he got to get rid of the football, and he feels it, and, and boom, he throws the football. Always good stuff. Let's hope you have another one of those, maybe a few more of those down the road, Coach. Thanks very much. Uh, let's send it back to the Holy Grail. When we get back, we'll talk a little second half for now. Let's do a little Q&A with Mike. Time for Marvin to field some of your questions. First up tonight, Mark from Cincinnati. Come on over, Mark. Uh, coming from California to Ohio, what has been the biggest adjustment and what is your favorite part of Cincinnati? Coming from California is, you know, California is fast-paced, you know, fast-paced. And um, out here, I think, you know, the, the thing that I like is, uh, you know, the views. I mean, the views, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot of space. You know, I have, uh, I have two, two little ones, two little kids. Uh, that are with me and uh, for them to you know run around and and have uh, have neighbors that have kids and run around all the, in this open space it's, it's been it's been great so that's one of the things I like who is the life of the locker room the guy who lightens the mood uh, definitely Andrew Hawkins you know he, he's he's the uh, he's the funny guy and uh, you know he, he's all, he's always around and uh, giving us all laughs so we all joke around together and uh, I'd say he's, he's the one that lightens the mood all right Marvel what's your favorite pregame go-to meal Pancakes and eggs. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. It's either that or an omelet. Because uh, usually we play, you know, we play one o'clock games, so we just do uh, breakfast. So I just, I just get my, uh, my pancakes and my eggs, and I'm good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the man who snared four touchdowns last week. Time now for our Bud Light football toss. And joining me this week is Daniel from Del High. And Daniel, this is how it works. You've got five chances to get one ball in each one of the holes over there. Do you think you can do one? Probably. I believe in you. We need a better attitude. You can do it. All right, so I'm going to back up Daniel and let you go to town. And let's see what Daniel's got on his arm. Whenever you're ready, start tossing. Oh, see on the first one. Let's see what you got. I want to see how many he can do. And while he's doing that, I'm going to remind you that the Holy Grail has great specials on Bud and Bud Light. Oh, almost took out someone in the background there, but that's okay. Whenever you come down for any Bengals game, they will have great bucket specials for you. So make sure you check out the Bud and Bud Light specials when you're down here at the Holy Grail. And Daniel, that's all right because you made your very first one, so you get a Bud Light prize pack. Thank you for playing. Stay with us on Bengals Nation. Coach Marvin Lewis has what to expect during the second half of the season. And more from the Marty Connor Band on the Eichler Golf Car Stage. All coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. All right, everybody, put your hands together. The Marty Connor Band up there on the Eichler Golf Car stage getting it done always one of our favorites you can find out more about marty and all of his music all the gigs they're playing at martyconnormusic.com we'll put that link on our website local12.com as well for now though we're going to send it back over to brad and coach and guys the second half of the season staring us right in the face what do we have to do the next few games i'll tell you what you know my eyes my eyes i'm all eyes and my ears are wide open Wait, what? Thank you, Bob. I, I think you may have got that backwards. All right, we've got the Ravens coming up next. Let's talk generally. Coach, this team uh, lost some big play players on both sides of the ball. They've lost some tough games already this year. Y your assessment of the Baltimore Ravens and what they do best right now? Well, they're still playing good on defense. Terrell Suggs is having an excellent season. And uh, uh, yeah, Dummerville over there and then the Upshaw uh, that they added. Uh, so they've got guys who 
who can play. And so you've got to have an opportunity to really uh, get your pads on them, still have nada. I mean, they've got some big, yeah. strong, physical people up front. So we've got to do a great job that way. And then offensively, uh, you know, with, with still the outside receiver in, in Smith, they have a great deep threat, Ray Rice still. So uh, things that, you know, people say, but they, they allowed for the, the, the matriculation of players on. Sure. I mean, this is a plan. And so uh, they're, they're not where they wanted to be early in the season, but yet this is still a well-put-together football team. Baltimore is one of my favorite stadiums to visit all of the time, and, and it's, it's no Seattle. But I always think that it's one of the toughest places to play because of the crowd reaction there. It is. It's got a huge crowd. The crowd noise factor is huge with the high sides yep. and, the, and the bowl area. So when you're trapped back in your end zone, it's pretty loud. It's hard to hear. Uh, this is the last AFC North opponent that you're going to face. Uh, you've already got one in the bank now with the Steelers and one with the Browns. Um, is it nice to get all of these teams out of the way so that when you face them again, you've got them on film? And I, I mean, you know these teams well enough already, but it has to help a little bit. Well, we're playing the you know Baltimore here late, and then again, obviously right. at the end of the season. So uh, those are the teams that they have us kind of situated with. So uh, you know, we got to win in order to win the division. We have an opportunity to win these division games, which will put us ahead in the division, which is important. After you get your fill of football on Sunday night, the Sports Authority will be talking Bengals. Lapham will be on the Telestrator, breaking down the Bengals game against the Dolphins, and so much more. It's right on the Sports Authority, right on Local 12, right after the news on Sunday night. When we see you next, it is Marvin's must. But this one's going to cover the whole second half of the season. We'll see what he has to say about that. For now, we'll send it back to the Holy Grail and Mike. Okay, thanks a lot, Brad. Looking forward to hearing what Coach Lewis thinks of the keys to the second half of the season later on in the show. Meantime, it's time now for our OU Get Educated segment. These Thursday night games, which the Bengals just played in Miami. They're like a love-hate relationship with the players. They love the extra days off they get following the game, but they hate having to prepare for the games on such a short week. Offensive tackle Andrew Whitworth talks about the challenges of playing on just three days rest. I think for, you know, if you get banged up or if you have teams that, you know, have suffered a couple of injuries, it's really tough, and especially if you're the away team, uh, because it eliminates the time you get, you know, whereas those guys they have a short week, but they get to be at their facility, so they're in the cold tops, they're getting treatment. Uh, you know, when you're spending one of your days in a three-day week, uh, basically traveling, uh, that's tough. Time now for our final fan game of the evening. It's the Football Flicker, brought to you by Cincinnati Sports Leagues. And joining me tonight are Jenna and Cheryl. Are you both ready? Yes, we are. Okay, let's see who's got what. Cheryl, you're going to start up there first. You can go any way up to the 30-yard uh, line. Let's see what you got. I believe, oh, my gosh, she went right through. Uh, I would say you can, you can take another try if you want, or you don't have to. But you, got, you went right through. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, that's okay. You got one. All right, Jenna, step right on up there. Let's see what you got. Now, I'll tell you, Jenna made one in practice, so this is going to be a tough competition. I believe in her. Oh, very close. That's all right. You're both doing great. That's okay. That's okay. We'll try it again. Oh, that's okay. You did. You got one in, yeah. in practice, though. So you get our runner-up prize, and you receive our grand prize. Thank you both for playing. Good job. Or on the way from the Holy Grail on Bengals Nation, Mike has more with Marvin Jones, and you can't miss Marvin's Must. All coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, presented by Banquet Hot Pies. All right, if you have not heard about Cincinnati Bell's Fly Optic Services, you need to check them out. Enjoy. Services are available in your home. Certain restrictions apply and see store for details. Cincinnati Bell, powered by Fly Optics. Time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Marvin Jones. All right, thanks a lot, Jen. Last minute or two here with Marvin Jones, the Bengals wide receiver. This team is positioned beautifully for the final seven games. The AFC North is yours for the taking. I've never felt there's a huge difference between being the one or two seed in the playoffs, but the difference between two and three is very big because now you're hosting one game to play in the AFC Championship. Is one of those top two seeds now the goal, or when does it become the goal if it's not already? 
I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's been the goal, you know, from the jump, you know, from the beginning of the season because, you know, we have, we know our potential and we know that we could go to great heights, you know, with, uh, with our team. And, uh, and, and, that, and that's, that's the goal, to be on top, you know, to be on top of the conference and, and, and go all the way. And I know we have the potential and that's what Coach says all the time. You know, we have the, we have the potential and us, you know, putting together game by game, play by play, for four quarters is going to lead us to uh, to to be where we're supposed to be and where we where, where we want to be. So uh, you know that that's a, that's a big part of it. Could not have picked a better week to have Marvin Jones here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table. Unless of course you get five in Baltimore next week. We'll have to have you back. All right, coach. This one covers the second half, so you have to have a mantra for the second half of the season. What's your must? Well, we got to be the best team we can be in seven weeks, and uh, uh, we have a, a good foundation of who we are what we are but we got to we got to continue to run the football better we got to defend the run and we got to do a great job defensively of taking the ball away all right we're looking forward to the second half of this and the first half's been great and we appreciate your involvement in the first half as well appreciate all you guys coming down to the holy grail for everybody over there from mike and bob and jen thanks so much for joining us for the coach i'm brad johansson until next week who day promotional consideration provided by ohio university it's you banquet so good for so little cincinnati sports leagues bringing you the best adult sports leagues happy hours and events in the city since 2001 eichler largest selection of big toys for big boys holy grail your search is over you found the holy grail bud light an official sponsor of the cincinnati Bengals, and cincy apparel cincinnati's premier supplier of custom t-shirts corporate wear and promotional products we'll play on a whiskey.